welcome back. What's going on, my fellow hunters, subscribers, and collectors? It's your boy, the sick one, and I'm back with another one. Another one. Yes, sir. What's going on, y'all? It's been a minute. Took a little break, but I'm back. Your boy, the loud one, the most entertaining, the most enthusiastic on the planet. It's back, baby. Woo! You already know what it is. You know how it goes. Everything in here is butters. Everything is beautiful. Man, I'm so happy to be back. Hey, man, if this is the first time you're watching this video, if you happen to just come across this video, I think you're going to love these videos. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you can join the SMC squad. This is a channel where we unbox, review statues, review everything in the future because we're going to be doing a lot of different things that's coming up to this channel. A lot of big changes is going to be happening. We also got a show that's called the Saturday Night Raw Show um, that we do it once a month. That's going to be changing pretty quickly too. We're going to be doing it and moving it to every two weeks. Oh uh, man, so you know, today we have another statue, pretty much rated the best Superman statue ever made. Um, and I agree, man, this statue is bananas. It's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It's off the chain. Listen, um, videos, pictures, all that, they look great, it looks awesome. But it even looks so much better in hand and in person. Um, I am so happy to have this in the collection. I've been looking for the statue for a minute. Um, it's just the prices and the secondary market for the statue is just bonkers. Um, I paid absolutely nothing near what they asking for out there in the market with the $3,000 and $4,000. Eh -eh. Sick one got this for a really, really good deal. That's why I keep telling y'all, have patience. Patience is a virtue. You'll end up getting what you want at a price that you're willing to spend in a comfortable, comfortable place. All right, so I am so happy today to, 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 to have this here in Sick Mansion. This is the mixed media cape version. This is not the sculpted cape version. Um, it happened to be that this one was available, which it fit me perfect because where I be putting my statues at and where they go at, I don't think that the sculpted cape would have um, fit in my collection because I like to move my statues around a lot. With a sculpted cape, it was very difficult for me to place this somewhere where I'm going to be able to move it wherever I want at any given time. It's just not going to happen. Um, so I was fortunate to get this um, mixed media cape where I'll be able to pose it and do whatever I want with it. Um, I have no problem with it. I love it regardless. Um, I have I have other statues in my collection that have mixed media capes. Um, and you know, and you'll be able to pose it however you want to pose it. This works perfect for my collection because I was going to put this somewhere and I decided to put it somewhere else. And if I have the sculpted cape version, it would have not been able to go where I wanted to put it at. I would have had to settle to where one place where it would have only fit. But with this right here, I'm able to put it anywhere. So this is awesome, and this is an incredible statue. Um, thank you guys for coming through again. And once again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Just get and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button so you can know when the next video drops. You don't do that with a like button. You do hit the notification bell instead. All right, I fixed it. Let's go. But anyway, today. We're going to get ahead and um, do the review and take a look at, take a real close look at this. Um, I really love this right here. This is just the, the classic, classic Superman. Um, it's a beautiful statue. Um, the base is identical to the base of the of the black Superman version, Hush. Um, it's the same thing. It's just different a different paint job. Um, man, let's get ahead and start with the base as we always do here in Sig Mansion. Let's take a close look at the base. Now... When you look at the base, um, the first things that you're going to start seeing is you're going to see this angel. Um, there's a, 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 you know, it's pretty much a statue of an angel that's been sculpted. Um, it's very, very nicely sculpted. I love it. It looks like stone. Um, love the way they sculpted the, the wings. The wings are perfect. Um, you can see the details of it. Of the, like, you, know, you can see the carving of the wings. And if you look really closely, there's actually cracks that are going through the wings and everything that's been sculpted in. Um, it just gives you that that Aztec old concrete um, um, classic, uh, you know, um, statues that they used to do back in the days. They used to, you know, carve things and chisel things out of stone and then make it, you know, make the statues out of it. Looks really nice. Um, as it keeps going around, uh, you're gonna see this the class, the gigantic base 
Um, it's really, really nice. It's all of stone. Um, got the little different coloring in it. Um, got some bricks um, sculpted into it. You got all these cracks and crevices, giving it that old look, um, that old rustic look. Um, they're really, really nice. Um, as it keeps going around, you're gonna see this other angel and the other side is identical to the other one that you've seen. Um, this is beautiful, man, as it goes around. It's the same thing with the wings. It did a great job with the sculpt of the wings. Um, as it keeps going around, uh, you're gonna see starting to hit the back of the base. And when you start getting to the back of the base, this is where you start seeing the different colors of the paint job that they did with the statue. Um, I love the way they painted the vines as they stand out way more um, than the other hush than the other hush statue um, this one right here you got the they got like these browns and beiges and they got these leaves that are sculpted into the base going all the way around painted green um, really really nice um, the, just the, the signature sign of poison ivy the poison ivy was here you feel me um, real nice as you keep going around you're gonna see the Superman emblem Superman's emblem in the back a uh, real nice sculpt of it is kind of a 3d um, sculpt really nice um, as it keeps going around, you're going to keep seeing this brick and the stone going all the way around. And if you look up, let's let's go ahead and just go straight up to the top. Well, not to the top, to the middle. And you're going to see this pillar. Um, there's a pillar um, also where Superman pegs in and Superman looks like he's floating off of this pillar. Um, this pillar is really, really nicely made. Um, you can actually spin this around just like the other one. Um, it goes all the way around. It's really, really nice, nice work. Um, and it flows real good. There's no wobbling, no nothing about it. Everything's really good about it. It's, you know, pretty, pretty nice, man. Um, man, they did a nice job with this right here with the sculpting and everything. It's just nice the way they paint, the way they sculpted and painted the pillar that you got all these grays. And there's just a lot of detail in it, man, with all the scrapes and everything, just giving it that rustic look. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and move up. And let's take a look and let's start at where Superman's boots are. Um, Superman's boots was has been really nicely sculpted. Um, um, they, it has texture to it. Um, it has like this real leather, this 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 kind of a patent leather look because it's pretty shiny, but really nice leather uh, leather look. Um, really really nicely sculpted. It's nicely painted. Love the shade work. Love the wrinkles where the ankles are at and everything like that. Um, very nice classic comic book Superman boots. Really, really nice. The soles of the boots are sculpted really nice as well. Um, let's go ahead and go up. As you go up and you look at the legs, um, his legs, yes, they are muscular, but they're not too much. They're not OD, it's not crazy. Um, it's just really, really nicely sculpted. They, they got they did some really good work on this. Um, the pants are fully um, textured. He got this texturing in the pants. It looks great um, on his tights. And with the tights, you can see his muscular, just the muscles just going the detail of the muscular just going through the pants. And the shade work that they, they were, that they did to this, how they detailed the shade work to make the muscles stand out a little bit more. Real nice, it's, it's like a, it's, it's like, um, it's almost like a, like a comic book coming to life. Um, the way that it's shaded and, and the texturing and everything on it, it looks just really great. Um, they got great, um, the color, they, they, it's beautiful, beautiful color. The paintwork on this is is extraordinary, man. It's it's just perfect, man. It's perfect to the comic book, as what I remember of the comic book. Just that vibrant, vibrant blue color is beautiful, man. When you go up, uh, go look at his tights, and his tights look they matched um the boots, um the same. There's pretty much the same texturing on the tights on his under, you know his uh, super underwears. Um, really nice. It looks like they leather. It looked like they leather drawers. Um, pretty cool. Um, they sculpted that real nice. There's a lot of texture in it. You can see the wrinklage on the on the on his underwears and everything like that is really good. Um, let's go up to his belt, and you got the classic yellow belt. Um, really nicely sculpted. It's just regular belt. Um, really nice. No emblem on the buckle. As we start going up, uh, you're gonna look at the torso. The torso is. Uh, once again, beautifully sculpted. Um, it's just not too much. It's pretty perfect for Superman uh, with the musculage and the sculpting of the six pack and, and just the rib cage and everything. And the way that they sculpted this is phenomenal. Um, when you go up on his chest, his chest is sculpted very nice. Uh, full texture throughout the whole entire tights of the suit. Full texture. 
Um, you go up to the emblem, to a Superman emblem. Um, it's sculpted beautiful. I love the colors. The classic red and yellow. Um, it's phenomenal, man. It just looks great. Um, his arms, his arms are nicely sculpted. Um, nice musculage. Look around the arms and everything. You can, see, you know, his forearms, um, his biceps, triceps, his shoulders. All his deltoids are sculpted perfect. And the pose of his um, hands, just, you know, it's just really nice, man. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Really good. Nicely painted, nice um, skin work on the hands. You can see some veinage on the hands too. Um, really nicely painted. Um, man, let's get ahead and go straight to the head sculpt. Uh, this head sculpt right here is just, is the head sculpt that I have on it right now. It is not the head sculpt that I'm gonna, I'm gonna pose it with. Um, this statue comes with three different head sculpts. Um, it comes with um, the one with him looking down, another one with him looking down with the red eyes, with the, you know, with the, with the heat vision eyes. I, that's the one I really gonna, I'm basically gonna pose it with. Um, but it's beautiful, man. All three of the, the head sculpts are beautifully sculpted. The skin tone they did on this is beautiful. If you take a close look, real close look to the head sculpt, the ears are sculpted perfectly. Love the way they sculpted the ear and the neck area, and then the, his jawline is just powerful. It's a powerful, powerful sculpt. As it keeps going around and you look at his cheeks, um, man, his cheeks are just giving you that powerful Superman look, man, and him looking down like that is just insane, man. Love the way they sculpted his eyes. Um, you look at his eyeballs, his eyeballs have that, that gloss, that, that wet look. Um, it looks like it's just real. They look like real eyes. Um, love the way they sculpted his eyebrows and, and just the wrinklage in between his eyes and the pose of his face just looking like straight strength, not even like anger. It's just, it's angry, but more of like, you know, like he's so powerful, man. Like ain't nobody messing with this dude. Um, the lips are sculpted really, really nice. Um, the detail that they put into the lips is phenomenal. I love the way they got the lines and the cracks and everything in the lips to make give it that realism. Um, you got his chin. The chin is just this powerful jaw, and the chin is just standing out beautifully. And then you know you go to the other side. It's the same thing. It's just beautiful. It's a great scope, man. Great scope. I love the hairdo that they sculpted. Very nice hair sculpt. Very nice sculpt of the hair. Um, they use the classic black. Um, it's just, it's, man, what can you say about this, man? This is just a powerful looking statue. So, so powerful, man. This is a badass statue, it's beautiful. This is just phenomenal, it's a great statue. Um, one thing I did have a problem with, and I know I said that I prefer um, this cape because it's posable and I could put it in different areas, but man, it was a pain in the ass to put this damn cape on. Because once I put the cape on, it was perfect. And then I wanted to, you know, shake the cape and put it the way. Every time I did that, the damn cape came off. So it was just frustrating, man. And then finally, I think, you know, I got a nice little, little something, something right here. I'm gonna make it better when I put it in its final resting place. But um, man, it was that's the only, pretty much the only thing that I have a problem with. Um, and another thing that I that I also, you know, this is just me nitpicking. But another thing that I think that could have been, you know, I don't know, maybe done better is his belt. Um, the yellow belt, I think they could have just made it more, gave it more definition and more texture just to, you know, give it that, you know, just that, that more leather look. Um, it's still good. I think they still did a great job, but I think it could have been done better. Um, you know, being that this is the best Superman ever made, you, you feel me? And this statue is going for so much money in the secondary market. But besides that, everything on this statue to me is perfect perfect flawless i don't have no issues with the statue besides a little bit with the belt and i just had a hard time putting on the cape have no issues with the cape i love the cape love everything about it um if you look at the cape um you know it's it's made of um uh, i think the material could have been made a little bit better but it's workable because it actually when you start forming the cape and you start using the wires and once you start learning and and getting and getting to know the wire and how it falls and how it goes into shape is great. Um, it's, it's not a problem. Um, but let's go around the cape. When you go around to the back side of the cape and it starts turning around, you see where 
you know, I just started bending the wire and make, giving it shape and everything like that. And just trying to go up on it and make it, you know, give it, give it a look. Um, I, like I said, it's going to be a different look when I get it in its final resting place because I'll be able to pose it to where it, the area is going to be at. Um, you got the Superman emblem in the back. I love the way they did that. Um, it's, it's like it's, it's a patch, a sewn patch that was sewn onto the back of the cape, which is awesome that they did that. Um, I, I love that they did that. And I love that they did use like a, like a, like a, like a, let me see, how would you call a vinyl patch or something stupid like that. But this is really nice because it's a stitch patch and it looks really good. It looks awesome. Um, as the cape keep going around, you're gonna see, you know, I'm trying to make it work and everything like that uh, with the wiring. I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it better. I think it looks really nice for now for you know for what I want to do with it. Uh, but it's really nice, man. You can really do a lot of different things with the cape. Uh, honestly, you can shape it to a lot of different shapes and stuff like that. What well, you know, what you want to do with the cape. But um, man, besides that, guys, um, I think that I think this is this definitely is um, the best Superman ever made. Definitely, it is a one-third scale statue. So as you can see, this is a gigantic statue. Um, Prime One. This is one I think one of best one of Prime One's best um, depiction of their company. One of the best. Um, I'm just really, really ecstatic. I'm happy. We all happy here in the home because, you know, here in my house, everybody is into what I do and everybody loves the statues here, which is awesome and which is very rare. Um, but, man, this is just a phenomenal statue. And just want to tell you guys, man, if, if you like the reviews, if you like the, you know, the, the energy, if you like the way I do my thing, then, you know, show your boys some love. Um, also, we are going to be expanding the channel. So for all of you guys are out there that like, oh, I don't really collect statues. I collect 110 scale, 116 scale, or I collect hot toys, or I collect figs and things like that. Well, guess what? The channel, like I've been saying, is going to be taking a big turn. And the big turn is that we're going to be adding different shows to the channel. And there's going to be a big team, a big Sig Mansion team that's going to be coming on. And they're going to be adding all their... All their love to the channel. So we're gonna be, we're gonna, yes, we are gonna do the hot toys. We are gonna do the comic books. We are gonna do the figs. We are gonna do other different style and size statues. Definitely gonna be doing 110 scales and all of that. And we're gonna be, we're gonna be hitting everything on the channel. Um, the Saturday Night Raw show, um, of course, we're gonna be doing some changes there as well. Um, we're gonna be looking to be changing it to every two weeks instead of once a month. I have a lot of surprise guests lined up. Y'all gonna be surprised. I know y'all were already shocked when I had Daniel Bell on the show, uh, but don't be because there's gonna be more shockers coming. Um, so, you know, it's gonna be dope, man. I just, you know, love that I, I'm getting all, you know, the love from you guys and everything. Everybody's always checking on your boy. We always checking on each other because that's how we do in the community. And, um, you know, that's the way it should be. Uh, man, so, you know, um, also guys, I wanna mention that we are doing a giveaway. Do not forget we're doing a giveaway. We are giving away this XM Studios quarter scale saber tooth statue. This is a phenomenal statue. This is a beautiful statue. This is a badass one four scale statue. Um, the detail is phenomenal and it's XM Studios. Um, as you know, the price on this statue is already shot up and I am still giving it away. It doesn't matter because that's, you know, that's what it is. That's how we're supposed to do it. Um, and thank you to um, popcultureart.com for donating the statue so that we can give it away to one of you collectors out there, one of you guys out there. Now, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. You have to be subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment below, any comment. You can say whatever you want to say, and you can talk about the you can talk about the, the, the Superman hush, or you can talk about the one quarter scale statue over here that we're giving away. Uh, but you have to be subscribed to the channel. And I got a message to all my guys out there, all my ladies out there, all my followers and all my subscribers. If you got love for your boy, if you got love for your boy, share this video right now. Once you're done watching this video, copy this video, share it on all platforms. Share it on your Facebook, share it on Instagram, share it on TikTok, share it everywhere. Because we are about to blow. We are about to go to the next level and we want y'all to help us out do that and help us out get to different platforms. So with y'all help and us doing our thing, we could get out there even more. And we could just, you know, keep on doing this. And I could keep on doing these reviews and keep bringing these things to you guys. So with that being said, you know what it is. 
You know how it goes. Let's go!